Good evening, everybody. We're glad you're with us. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Andrew Hewitt. It has been a wild day in Washington <laughs> with Colorado Senator Michael Bennett playing a starring role. And we will get to the usually mild-mannered Democrats' fiery speech in a moment, Bo. We're going to begin with uh, potential movement in ending this government shutdown. Tonight, we know new talks have emerged on a plan that could at least briefly reopen the federal government. But as you might imagine, there is an obstacle. President Trump says he will not approve it unless it includes a down payment for the border wall. And if that doesn't work, the president's also reportedly considering now funding the wall through a national emergency declaration. And all of this comes as Washington appears to have reached a tipping point, evidenced by a ferocious confrontation today between Ted Cruz and Michael Bennett. It started with a bold claim. The only reason Democrats are against the wall is because President Trump wants it. But just because you hate somebody doesn't mean you should shut the government down. Cruz then joined Republicans in calling for Coast Guard members to be paid regardless of the shutdown. Democrats say everyone should be getting paid and won't budge until the full government reopens. Only thing that is necessary to pass a clean bill paying the salaries of every man and woman in the Coast Guard is for the Democratic senators to withdraw their objection. After Cruz sat down, Colorado Senator Michael Bennett stood up. These crocodile tears that the senator from Texas is crying for first responders are too hard for me to take. As it turns out, Bennett has never forgiven Cruz for the part he played in the 2013 government shutdown. That crisis came days after devastating floods tore through our state. The town of Lyons, one of the hardest hit. When the senator from Texas shut this government down, in 2013, my state was flooded. It was underwater. People were killed. People's houses were destroyed. Their small businesses were ruined forever. Bennett was just getting started. It's his business, not my business, why he supports a president who wants to erect a medieval barrier on the border of Texas. How ludicrous it is that this government is shut down over a promise the President of the United States couldn't keep. And that America is not interested in having him keep. 